Welcome to Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we demonstrate how to delete all the breaks points in a connector directly from the grid toolbar. Let's go ahead and switch to Pointwise. As you can see, we have a couple of connectors here. I've used different colors just for clarity. One is called connector 1 and the other one is called connector 2. As you can also see, connector 1 and 2, they have different dimensions and different distribution functions. In particular, the one on the left has a growth distribution function and the one on the right has an equal spacing distribution function. I've also copied these pair of connectors down here just uh, for comparison purposes. If I go ahead and join these two connectors, Control J, you can actually see that the distribution of grid points along the connector remains the same. This is accomplished via the addition of a breakpoint in that node that was shared by the two connectors I just joined. As you can see, that square right there is the breakpoint I am talking about. The usual way to delete a breakpoint in case you don't need it is to basically go to Grid Distribute and then Breakpoints tab, which is what I just did, and use this Delete All Breakpoints command to just delete that breakpoint. An easier way to accomplish the same thing is to simply select your connector and use the new command Delete All Breakpoints on the Grid toolbar. As you can see, it's going to accomplish the same thing. Last but not least, there is an option in the Defaults tab that you can use to decide whether breakpoints should be automatically added by pointwise during the uh, join operation. And as you can see, this is down here. If I uncheck the Keep Breakpoints option, breakpoints are not going to be added when I join these two connectors. If I uncheck the Keep Distribution function, the distribution function or the distribution of grid points is not going to be kept and is going to be replaced by an equal spacing distribution function. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all. Have a pleasant Tuesday.